Right now we get to talk to Kamrul Bahrain bin Al Bakri. He's the Chief Financial Officer for Click Energy in Malaysia. Thanks so much for coming in to talk to us. All right, thank you. Tell us a little bit about Click Energy. What does this company do? Well, um, Click is a spec. Uh, what we do is a pool of professionals incorporate the company, and with that expertise, uh, we list the company, and we've got a 20% shareholding in the company. So, so it's, 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 it's part of a compensation scheme for equity, but at the same time, we are raising public funds to undertake an acquisition process. And once we have raised money from the public, um, the cash is actually kept in the trust account. So 100% of the funds is uh, raised, 90% is kept in the trust account, 10% is actually used for working capital. And um, the company has got a three years lifespan. So that funds will be used to purchase the core business of Click Energy Berhad. And in our perspective, it's very, very specific. The area that we are focusing on is the EMP business. Mm -hmm. So that's basically Click Energy Berhad then. Okay. So uh, you have the money. Yes, we have the money, yes. <laughs> what, are, what are you um, talking to people about here at the Oil Council meeting? Uh, obviously, they're looking for capital. Are you finding people with worthwhile projects to look at? Okay, um, currently what we've done is, uh, we're talking to people, but the pool of funds that Click has raised is we've actually got 100 million of cash in a trust account. Mm -hmm. So that's our war chest for a first acquisition exercise. And at the same time, we've actually raised another 100 million from our potential warrants conversion. So the portfolio of business that we're looking at is the ENP sector upstream uh, on the production assets. So as, as you're aware that the, uh, um, in terms of the EMP business, there's the uh, resource, um, which, is, which is exploration. Then you've got the contingent resource and the producing asset. So the area that we're focusing on is actually acquiring producing assets that will provide the first yield cash flow for the company. So of course, um, uh, we've, we've been around for about one and a half years and it was difficult times then because the price of oil was about 100. And buying a producing asset is actually, it, it is a premium acquisition. So looking at the current profile or the current scenario of the oil and gas price going down, it actually worked in the favor of Click Energy Berhad. So there are a lot of good deals out there um, um, that has allowed us to negotiate at a very reasonable acquisition price. So this is a good time of opportunity for That's you. Right. Right. What is your asset uh, strategy for what you are picking up? What kind of selection process do you have? Um, okay, uh, the, the selection process um, consists of three areas actually. Now one is actually region, because it's the regions that we are comfortable working in, and at the same time the fiscal regime. The second area is actually operatorship, because one of the conditions of this spec is we need to acquire and operate the asset. Um, the third area is actually um, um, the tax structure. Because at the end of the day, um, our transaction is actually offshore. Uh, we're, we're not we we are we are we are not put, we're, we are not able to buy assets in Malaysia because because we are restricted by certain requirement uh, where we are restricted attributed to our structure. So we're buying business within the region itself. Do you are there specific uh, regions that you like, or specific locations, or countries that you're particularly interested in? Well, currently we're looking at the uh, CIS blocks. But the main reason why we're looking into that blocks is because the way the uh, laws are actually governed in terms of asset ownership. Because the laws there are actually under subsoil law where it allows transfer of assets between one entity to the other compared to the PSC regime or the concession regime because you need, you need, you need to have a structured approach in that acquisition process. So in, this part, in that part of the world, uh, it has allowed us to do transaction because Asset transfers is easy. You just have to get the preemption rights. At the same time, you've got a very structured tax system um, for the government to undertake its revenue stream. Then. Right. Uh, so you are a Click is a special purpose acquisition vehicle yeah. or a special purpose acquisition company. Are there many of those types of companies around and do you see more competition coming your way in that space? Okay, currently there's only four companies that's been listed under the SPEC category. The first one is Hibiscus, Click is the second, uh, then we've got Sona and Rich Energy. But in terms of space, 
and the amount of capital we have actually raised today to date is actually about 1.5 billion four of us and that's a significant amount of capital we have actually raised in terms of competition i do not see that the fact that because there's various opportunities lying around in the market and um, potentially um, the spec will evolve in the malaysian market so you've got the first cycle of spec listing there will be a second stage of spec listing when we complete our qualifying asset acquisition but in terms of competition i you know it's uh, the, the oil fields are abundant thing yeah you said you have a uh, you have a three-year lifespan mm -hmm. is that correct that's right, correct? that's correct so and you're about a year and a half old that's so what happens in the next year and a half um okay currently what we're doing is uh, we are focusing to complete the transaction itself uh, well the process uh, goes into three stages the first stage it's uh, getting the SE approval at to the acquisition then it goes to the process of uh, getting it approved by the uh, shareholders which is the um, 75% and the third stage is actually the potential fundraising exercise as part of the acquisition deal okay. so um, at the same time um, there is there has been a revised guideline that it allows us to do a rights issue should our funds in the trust account is not sufficient so there is that level of flexibility now because at the point of listing um, it was basically using what's the amount in the trust account which we got 100 million and we need to use a minimum of 80 million uh, but there's the flexibility now to raise capital in the secondary market well um, to a rights issue for potential acquisition so because of that the watch has actually increased well that's good news yeah, right that's very good news in this tough climate. That's, That's very correct. Good. Well, well, the good thing is um, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have tested the market and the bankers are willing to underwrite the rights issue. Okay. So they're quite confident on the, the deal transaction because the price of oil is at its bottom. So then there's a potential upside if uh, you're considering your holding costs, um, the potential upside within, within the next two or three years, actually. Do you have a time frame for when you expect them to stabilize and then perhaps increase? I do not have that. I, mean, I, I, can't, I can't predict that scenario, but nevertheless, what we have done uh, as part of our assessment processes, um, in terms of oil on a gas deal, we're looking at the price of oil about 65 uh, from an acquisition perspective. Then looking at the cash flow to ensure the sustainability of the business, uh, we have actually have for the first three years marked $50 as a potential price of oil from a cash flow perspective. So currently, that is the perspective that we are looking at actually and that is how we have actually approached the deal structure uh, obviously um, the oil price issue is something that's on everybody's lips but are there other challenges that people are talking about that you need to take into consideration when you're looking at these assets okay um, the 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 biggest consideration is actually a willing buyer and a willing seller now the fact that the price of oil has gone down your next best choice is actually to keep it in the ground why would you sell an asset at $50? I mean, you've got a guy out there or an owner out there or um, an entity out there um, would like to do a deal at $65. So that is our actually biggest challenge. And it's, it's, it's to come out to a deal structure which is fair that he would still participate in the equity structure and ride on the potential upside later on. And the fact that there is a lot of distress outside there uh, assets out there not from an asset perspective but shareholders because of clearing their bank loans facilities so because of that we take note of the distress that they are facing and structuring a deal which allows a willing buyer and a willing seller taking into consideration of the price of oil and at the same time they don't lose out on the potential upside so they, 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 we, will, we will bring them back in as part of, of an equity partnership within the deal itself but that challenge, it's, it's something that we need to work on, actually. I know you can't speak about specific deals, okay. but are you finding good opportunities here at this Oil Council event? Um, yes, because most of the deal structure currently you look at resides in the bankers, actually. Because they know um, assets which are distressed from, from, from a perspective that uh, you know, bankers are wanting to call in on their facilities. So the deal structure is actually currently a lot of deal structure are residing in the bankers and they are actually matching the deal with actually owners. 
So, so that's a good thing, actually. So it's worth your time to be here. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for taking a little bit of time to meet with us. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's some insight today from Kamarul Bahrain bin Al-Bakri. He's the Chief Financial Officer of Click Energy.